Hey everybody, Ricky Handicapping Handicapping, Thoroughbred Racing on Friday afternoon, October the 14th. This is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. I have reports from three tracks for you this afternoon, folks. Let's go to Race 5 at Belmont Park first, 3.08 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a six furlong sprint on the dirt track. Three-year-old fillies racing for a claiming prize of some $45,000. Contenders number eight, Celebrity Sighting, number one, Those Lion Eyes, number nine, Latin Rocks, and number four, Junibi. Number eight, Celebrity Sighting, is the overall speed leader in this claiming field, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt, comes off five consecutive power run place finishes in his last, or her last five starts. Number one, Those Lion Eyes, Exceptional early speed for this six furlong sprint, has hit the board in four of her last five, with three of those board hit. Uh, results including a win in her last start also qualifying as power runs race five summary number eight celebrity sighting tops my contenders list which also includes number one those lion eyes number nine latin rocks and number four june nibby that's eight one nine four in the fifth from belmont let's go to keeneland next for their race nine feature 5 23 p.m eastern post time this is the franklin county stakes five and a half furlong sprint on the turf course phillies and mares three years old and up racing for a hundred thousand dollars contenders number six suzona number two supreme Number eight, Rose Catherine, and number 12, Kibrata Shiner. Number six, Susanna, has won an amazing 17 times in her career to date, sprinting at or about today's distance of five and a half furlongs on the grass, has hit the board in each of her last five, including a quartet of circle trips embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Julian Pimentel has been in her iron sign. 11 previous occasions hitting the board in each winning eight times en route to a positive 160 percent return on investment in the process it's back today for ride number 12. number two supreme a six to one shot has hit the board in four of the last five winning twice race nine summary number six suzona tops my contenders list which also includes number two supreme number eight rose catherine and number 12 cabrata shiner that's six two eight twelve in the ninth from keeneland the hundred thousand dollar franklin county stakes let's go to monmouth park next for race seven three fifty one p.m eastern post time six furlong sprint on the dirt track three year rolls and up race four twenty thousand dollars Contenders number seven, my golden opinion. Number four, Lucky James. Number one, Unleash the Humor. And number six, Man Bird. Number seven, my golden opinion, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, is the overall speed leader in this claiming field, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt. Has hit the board in five straight starts with four of those outings, including a win in his second and fourth races back, also qualifying as power runs. Those wins also qualifying as an impending bounce pattern, folks. The bounce will be up positive today if this pattern continues. Number four, Lucky James has hit the board in three of his last four, including a power run win in his last start. Race seven summary. Number seven, My Golden Opinion, tops the contenders list, which also includes number four, Lucky James. Number, <coughs> number one, Unleash the Humor. And number six, Man Bird, that's... 7-4, in the 7th from Monmouth Park. Bonus long shots. Let's go to Hawthorne near Chicago. First race four. Check out the 10-1 to 1 bomb. Number eight, AJ's Love. Good overall speed for this mile test on the turf. Mountaineer Park in Chester, West Virginia. Racing tonight. Race number five. Number seven, Blue Soldier. A 10-1 to 1 bomb qualifies as the Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. Takes a six-level class drop. Is the overall speed leader in this claiming field racing at or about tonight's distance of a mile and 70 yards on the dirt. So handicapping from Belmont Park, Monmouth Park, and Classy Keeneland in Kentucky. On a Friday, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.